Welcome to the instructional video for the CopperTech Scheduler E template for Microsoft Excel. Okay, let's get started. The program will open with the Getting Started tab. The other tab is the actual schedule. The first thing to do is click the Schedule E tab. The first thing we'll do is fill in the items that are you'll notice in blue on the actual program. One is the builder's name, like Bob's Homes, a job number JJ5567, Mr. Smith for a name. We can leave the address and, and the subdivision in this okay. Now we've got some of the basics complete. If you'll notice looking up and down this, there is a set of work days. Work days are so set up that you will assign how many work days it takes to get the building permit or, or locate the pins or how long it is to do the plumbing or whatever. If you see zeros in there, those zeros will always remain zeros. Only change the work days that actually have a number of one or larger. So let's start with a brand new you know, budget or schedule, I guess you would call it, that fits this particular home. The first thing we'll do is pick a date that we're going to start the house. Let's say February 4 to 4, and we put that in there. Now, if you'll notice, we have a date up here, and you're only going to change this one time. Go to the bottom. After you've assigned all your work days, go to the bottom, and the house should be done on July 9th. So we're going to put that date now back up in the here, 7, 9. You'll notice days over or under is zero. You'll never change this date again for this particular job number. So at this point you would actually save this program with a name that you could recognize either the client's name or the lot number or whatever you want to so you can find it again and work on it and update it every week. Now let's assume that we've got all the work days assigned and we now have a start date. And let's say for whatever reason we actually come in and it, we didn't get the pins located on 2-6, it was 2-11. When I put that in there, the house now will completely reschedule and that's going to put it two days over. If you'll notice, this will always keep recalculating. Everything from here on down just recalculated based on these dates as you put them in. It's very simple, very functional, and you're going to be able to track your houses so much better. What we recommend is as you update this on a weekly basis is to start out by printing out the master schedule for your superintendent have him return that schedule and he can scribble in the dates for the actual dates for items that he got done. When you take that, you, op you open your program again, you put in those new dates that he gave you or she and the program will totally reschedule. And that is really the entire uh, program. I mean, it's so easy, and yet it's not going to let you to. It even shows when to start ordering certain items. 
And that's why it's critical that you put your work days in in the beginning properly. And then once you've actually saved this as a job or a scheduled job, then from that point on, you will no longer change your work days. You'll always just be putting actual dates in once a week, and you'll know exactly where you are with the house, when it will be done, and so on. That completes the instructional video for the CompreText Schedule E template for Microsoft Excel.